Hey guys, I'm Harv, I'm a videographer, and on this channel I make videos about videography. In this video I'm checking out M Callout's Glitch from Motion VFX. It's a super cool plugin where you get glitched based tracked callouts, like the one you can see attached to my finger right now, and of course I want to check out if they're any good, you know, what you get in the pack, how they work, how they look, and you know, whether they're worth buying. Let's do it. As ever, I've timestamped everything and you can just skip to the bit you want. And my channel now has a Patreon for this and um, it's completely non-profit. The idea being that any funds from Patreon, I put back into the channel and then buy gear, review it and give it away to my backers. If this is of interest, if these videos help you, if you find them helpful in any way, do consider backing. It's just the cost of a cup of coffee and you can find all the details linked below. So what are they? What are call outs? Well, they're basically very stylized titles, if you like, that you can uh, you can track and just drag and drop onto your timeline. And what they do is add a massive amount of production value for not a lot of cash and uh, certainly very little effort. I should say they are for Final Cut as well. And Motion VFX makes several different themes of Motion VFX packs. And this glitch one is just the latest one. I by this stage, I consider myself a bit of an M Callouts veteran because I own all of them. And as of this review, I have reviewed all of them. So I would encourage you to, you know, to check them out. I will uh, link all the reviews. And um, also by the end of this video, I will make uh, some good recommendations of, of which ones to go for over the others. And um, yeah, that'll come at the end of this video. I mentioned that this pack is the glitch theme and I don't know whether the glitch look is a fad that's just kind of come and gone and isn't cool anymore, um, but I certainly like it and I actually found that it has broader application than I was first expecting. Now these callouts have tracking built in and that is, in my opinion, the biggest strength of the M callouts range. It's just rock solid and that is because it uses the Mocha engine, which is the same uh, same engine that's used to do the tracking in Premiere Pro. So it is, it is rock solid and also very easy to get to that kind of that stage. Let me show you how the tracking works now. Okay, here you can see I've added a preset and I've already filled in all of the details. It's just to name some of the features of this microphone. All I need to do is add the tracking. I've got the playhead at the beginning of the clip, of course. Here we have the tracking box and I'm just going to drag that over the object that we want to track. I'm then going to expand it over as much detail elements that I can see on this microphone. Luckily, there's lots of detail. So this should be a very easy track for the Mocha system. Then just hit the track button and sometimes a progress box will pop up and show you what's going on. If not, you can look in your background tasks and you can see where it says transcoding and analysis. Of course, I fast forwarded this bit because that would make for the most boring video on YouTube. But needless to say, once it's done, your track is ready in all its glory. And man, that is good rock solid, like I said. Moving on to the user experience and user interface and starting with the installation. Using Motion VFX installer software is just a seamless process as it does it all for you. Plus it keeps your installed plugins updated. With a lot of plugins, you have to download files from the producer and then manually go in and find the right folder for your plugins and drag and drop them in a really clunky way. But not with Motion VFX, it's, as I said, just really seamless. As for the controls within Final Cut, let me show you. Okay, in Final Cut now, and I'm going to take this beautiful scene and label the bridge with a completely inappropriate looking glitch call out. And I'm just gonna go for the first preset and I've dropped it on our timeline. And looking at the controls, the good thing about this is there are lots of parameters. It's very tweakable. However, it's all extremely easy to use. We've got animate in and animate out, which I find very useful. I use these all the time. The first group of controls are linked to things like the tracking, which I'm not gonna touch right now. And then you can see we've got magnification and prism effect, and these just affect how kind of glitchy things look relating to the animation of the call out. And then we have the main title, of course, and we can change any of the parameters just like you could with any other text-based effect in in Final Cut. I've picked another in a props font and then we have the second title and of course you can just switch it off if you want to. And then we have all of the other elements of the callout. Things like the underlines, the dots, the track spot, and these are 
all completely customizable as well. Obviously, I'm going to stick with the inappropes theme here and just keep going, but you get the picture. You can start with one preset and just completely tailor it to what you need. Oh, and just look at that. Isn't that just a thing of beauty? I think that should be its own preset. What do you reckon? The only thing I will say about the interface within Final Cut is that they can change from preset to preset, and that just depends on what each preset can do. And it's not a big problem. I don't think it'll slow down your workflow. It certainly doesn't for me. It's just worth bearing in mind. So what are these, what are these glitch presets for? And why would you buy them? Well, I mentioned at the beginning that I thought that the applications for this glitch plugin were pretty broad. And I have to admit that wasn't my opinion when I first started using them. I thought, God, what, what on earth am I gonna, am I gonna use these for? But on reflection, I think they'll be great for things like um, tech videos, uh, extreme sports, YouTube videos, maybe even things like fashion. Um, the, the, I think there is a surprisingly big list. So you do get 50 presets, which is a good number, but don't feel that you need to be constrained by the, the style of each of them because they are surprisingly customizable. Let me show you. So here we have some more B-roll and this one will be less inappropriate. And I've changed all the text and I've done the tracking so there's no need to go back over that. What makes this preset cool is it gives you the option of having a drop zone. And I plan on using this B-roll clip as the drop zone target. I think that's just going to look really cool and bear in mind you can do this with anything. It can be any footage, an image if you like, a logo, the mind boggles. So here where it says drop zone, I just need to click the window next to it and then select the clip and click apply and that's it. I'd advise playing with the scale of course, but otherwise you can get this kind of look really quickly. And there are lots of other presets within this bundle that have this drop zone capability. So there's just huge scope for customization. Now one way that I love to use the M callouts range is definitely not something that they were intended to be used as, and that is for lower thirds. And you may have noticed I've been using them for my lower thirds, actually this side, all video long. And um, I think they work really well, and here's how I do them. So using callouts for lower thirds is something I have mentioned in previous videos, and that involved, you know, hiding part of the callout off the edge of the screen, or kind of deactivating things like the track spot. But with M callouts glitch, there's no need because there are duplicate versions of each preset without the tracking function. So the one I've been using for this video is preset number 44, and I'm dragging it onto my timeline, I'm dragging it into place, and I'm typing the text that I need and that's it. So easy, but yet they look so cool. Next onto my pros and cons, and I'm a glass half full kind of guy, so let's start with the pros. So firstly, these are fantastic looking, like all of the M callouts range, every single pack. I'm also really mind blown every time I use the tracking on this, it's just so good. These are brilliantly animated, again, like all of the M callouts range. These are extremely easy to use and that's not something that we should underestimate. The user interface is fantastic and the overall user experience is just second to none amongst plugins. I think these are surprisingly flexible. You might not agree with me, but I think there's a good range of genres you can use them with and they're not just for call out purposes. You can also use them for titles, thumbnails and lower thirds. Another biggie and these are really low effort, high production value ratio plugins. Also 50 presets is plenty, but not so many that you feel like you've got option paralysis. It's the Goldilocks amount. And onto the cons and for some, I think the style might be a little polarizing. I suspect you'll either love them or loathe them. Secondly, the price, and I'd say they're not exactly cheap, but you do get what you pay for. As I mentioned, they're low effort, high production value plugins. They also can be processor hungry when you really layer them up. And honestly, that's about it. Finally, to my opinion, and like all of the other M callouts packs, this is a quality product that's just well-conceived, well-designed, and just a joy to use. I don't know how to criticize it other than my tiny little cons that you just heard. I mentioned earlier that I was gonna recommend a few of the packs because now I own all of them. So we've got the M Call Art Simple, Simple 2, Specs, Tech, High Tech, and now Glitch. And I suppose the biggest testament are the ones that I use the most, and they are by far 
simple, the first pack, simple two and specs. For me, these are the most versatile. The others, I suppose, are just quite a bit more stylized. So, you, you know, you know whether you need the, the say, the high tech pack. And, um, but yeah, as I mentioned, all of them, I, I'll link uh, all of my reviews below. So do check those out down there. Um, they're, they're, they're lots of fun, all of them to make. So anyway, that's it for now. I love making these plug-in review videos. So please do let me know. If there's one that you think that I should be checking out, definitely let me know. Um, I want as many recommendations as possible and yeah, I'll, I'll check them out and um, more reviews coming soon. I've now filmed hundreds of videos about videography and audio of which YouTube has recommended this video for you to watch next and the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.